Uh, tell us a bit about the Star of David, please. Well, the Jewish people, they call it Mogan David. Mogan means star and David, the Star of David. Uh, actually, Moshe Bronstein told us in 2005 that it came from the, uh, the symbol of hyssop. And he said the, the hyssop flower uh, has three leaves on it. And he said they would uh, actually they would double that, turn it upside down. And it, it was a pretty good explanation uh, that Moshe gave for the origination of the Star of David. I'd never heard that before. And I think he's probably correct. He's, he's a very fine historian. Yes. Now, before we get briefly to these blessings and curses, would you tell us about the tapestry? You were able to acquire this tapestry for us that is behind the door that we placed there artificially. It was not originally on the doors. Yes, a, a Jewish friend of mine in Jerusalem uh, knows a man that works at the Western Wall, actually the caretaker of the, of the Western Wall, and they just refurnished all the small furnishing in the tunnel on the men's side of the wall. The inner sanctum sanctorum. Yes. yes. And as they, they put new furniture in, these were the wrong size tapestries. So I was able to purchase two or three from this gentleman, and one of them is now hanging there in the Creation Evidence Museum. How appropriate that is. Thank you for making that available to the Creation Evidence Museum. And this audience can come and see that firsthand. You can't touch it, but you can see it. Now, let's get to the blessings and the curses. This is a program having to do with creation science. And as I was reading this passage last night, the 28th chapter of, or division of the book of Deuteronomy from the Pentateuch or the Torah, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. As I was reading it, I found that in these blessings, we have the following scientific considerations spelled out. First of all, Urban and rural economies are inferred here in blessings. God covers everything. Heritage is covered here. Agriculture is covered here. Horticulture is covered here. Nutritional science is covered here. Vitality to the human body and our offspring and even to our livestock is covered in these blessings. Military prowess is covered here for us to defend the homeland. Relationships with the Creator covered here. Meteorology is covered here. Revenue for personal use and for the use of the cities, the towns, and the areas. All of this is, uh, is covered. And then we have influence in leadership and prosperity, all listed among these blessings. These are areas of scientific scrutiny, and we can put numbers to the science and find that this is a superior benefit. For instance, God's blessings on Israel and to the degree that we follow his mandates, we have a measure of the same blessings. First, on the cities and the farms, that they will be successful. Deuteronomy 28.3. They'll produce many children, and they have. They'll harvest large crops, and they have. You and I have seen firsthand the amazing vitality of the crops in Israel. Their livestock will have many young. There will be much to eat, and, and it will be nutritious. Their daily work will succeed. They will be able to defeat their enemies, their military might. They're God's own special people, a special relationship to Him. And rain, meteorology, rain will come at the right time. As you know, if rain does not arrive at the right time, the harvest spoils or the harvest doesn't produce at all. It must come at the right time, and again, that is God's superintending grace and blessing. And uh, they'll have plenty of money at this time in the history of the United States. Gary, we need to return back to God, who is our only answer for the economy of our country and the economy of the world. Uh, their nation will be a leader among many uh, of the entire global community and will have wealth and be powerful. Then the cursings are simply the lack of all of these things. And when we have the lack of these things, we find ourselves in an incredible turmoil of existence. Now, as we come to the last moments of the program, we've measured today on the fact that God majors on absolute truth, woven into the very fabric 
of all the scripture in its original context and for our perusal in our modern languages and etymological studies woven into the very fabric of scripture are scientific dictates and scientific observations meteorology uh, bringing the rain at the right time economy urban domestic and rural all of these things require the hand of God for benefit now it would be lifeless that's opposed to the biological truth of science lifeless if we terminated our existence after this thought process is over you do not have a lifeless eternity the Bible states behold I set before you the way of life and the way of death and in Psalm 16 the scripture states that at thy right hand are pleasures for evermore and it states I will show thee the path of life I want to help show you the path of life today the fulfillment of all of these Old Testament scriptures walked our streets and sat in our councils held our children to himself and invited us for companionship with him he went to Calvary he died he was buried and he rose again he is alive speaking to your heart at this moment would you pray this simple prayer just pray this simple prayer with me dear God I need you I'm a sinner and right now I open my heart to the Lord Jesus Christ Lord Jesus you are life I'm living an existence one step away from death I need you right now would you just step into my heart and live right now I invite you to be my Savior and I will serve you with all my heart Creation in the 21st Century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Creation in the 21st Century is a unique program on TBN combining biblical knowledge with scientific verification. Much of the information that I use on the program is available. Contact us. Just write Creation Evidence Museum, P.O. Box 309, Glen Rose, Texas, 76043, or call us at 254-897-3200. We look forward to hearing from you today.